please advise you to come to church with your Bible. It's important you do if you don't have a Bible. You are not ready for Christianity. The Bible is the map of where we're going. If you don't have a map, you get lost. Amen. 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 Luke chapter 8, verse 43. And a woman having an issue of blood, 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the bother of his garment. And immediately her issue of blood stanched. And Jesus said, who touched me? Somebody said, who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee, and says thou who touched me? Verse 46. And Jesus said, Somebody had touched me, for I perceive that power is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed. And he said unto her daughter, be of good cheer. Thy faith had made thee whole. Thy faith has made thee whole. The Bible tells us there's a woman that had an issue of blood. Now, why did the Bible say issue of blood? Scriptures wanted to define what her problem was. She had an issue of blood. If this woman had an issue of blood, your own case might be issue of money. Your case might be issue of marriage. Your case might be issue of healing. Your case might be issue of deliverance. But the Bible says this woman had an issue of blood. And this woman had gone everywhere. The Bible says she went to Sangoma. That's what the Bible says. There. She went to doctors. So the Bible says this woman had an issue of blood. And no one could help her. She had spent all her money. She has spent all her money. She's been to the doctors. I know what that is because my wife has a challenge. I know what it cost me. So the woman, the Bible says, and she heard about Jesus. But that's not what I'm about to talk about this morning. What I'm about to talk about is what, what I call the power of contact. The power of what? The power of contact. The power of contact. One of the ways healing, blessing is released is what we call contact. The power of contact is when someone connects himself or makes contact with something or someone greater. Are you listening to me? It is very powerful. When someone connects himself to something or someone greater. Now this woman said, the Bible says she said in her heart. If I can only touch Amen? The power of contact. If I can only touch. Now, when you, when you look at her story, the Bible said she had gone to doctors. Amen? Which means doctors had made contact with her. But still, no solution. 
she originally understood those of you that are coming to christ ambassador's church one of the reasons why you are coming i know god is in heaven is because of me Ooh. it's true god has put me here to represent him no i'm not here for the pastor i'm here to see god okay see him now let me go and sit down. <laughs> Amen. We are too ceremonial. Hey, you know, I'm not here for any man. I'm not here for any woman. I've come to see God. I'm not even here for Pastor Ida. Okay. <laughs> if I sit here for the next 30 minutes, you start walking away one after the other. Amen. Amen. Now, what God does is God will bring people your way, bring people your path, so that you can make contact with the people or person so that your life can be changed. For those of us that work, if the person that employed you did not make contact with you, why they will say send a CV. Is that true? Why are they saying send a CV? We want to know you. We want to make contact with you. So that we can know whom we are employing. Now Jesus, or the woman with the issue of blood, understood. He, she said, if I contact the hem of his garment, I understand that I might not have an opportunity to discuss with him one on one. But if I make contact with anything that has to do with him, I will be healed. Hear me this morning. Every power that Jesus has. Are you listening? Okay. I want to surprise you. Every power that Jesus has, he has given to me. <laughs> hallelujah every power that Jesus has he has done what he has given to me I, I'm not afraid to say it he has given it to me now the woman said if I can only touch uh -huh. I, I, I don't want you to be too intelligent which is good to be intelligent but the things of the scriptures of the spirit is foolishness to a lot of people you cannot fathom it we have lawyers here you know all they do is think analyze and when they give you answers you know they are smart but this one we're doing this one this one Degree and certificate cannot understand this one. Amen. Amen. No, he cannot. Cannot understand this one. So, the doctors could not understand, but the woman understood something that if I touch in a medical jargon or history, it's not possible. A woman that doctors have given tablets, given a -R -V and V R A and everything. They've given this woman everything she needed to be healed. The Bible says she did not get better. Amen. Now, a man that has been taking a -R -V, a woman that has been taking a -R -V, says, okay, keep the a -R -V. If I touch the sketch of a man, Amen. Eh? <laughs> to touch the hem of a man's garment and you are healed, they will tell you you need to see a doctor. <laughs> no, I've, been come, I've, I've just come from the doctor. The doctor did not help me. Now, the power of contact, the power of contact, virtue and power is released by contact. Miracles happen through contact. 
And I've shown you in this church so many times. You remember there was a girl that needed to be delivered. We just asked her to sit on the chair. You remember? She was set free. Sit on the seat. This is my seat. Sit. Why? Because the same Jesus is in me. And if, if Jesus sits on this chair, the anointing can be transferred through contact. So because he sits here, the same power that is in him is reflected on this chair. If you tell a lawyer or a police officer this, they will say you are mad. This morning, you are about to make contact. You are about to make contact. I will explain two or three or four ways you can make contact. Number one way. Through the laying on of hands. I don't need to say a word. Are you listening to me? Some people worry, ah, he just touched me and he did not pray. He did not pray. He did not shout. He did not scream. He did not dance before. He just touched me and went away. No. If you understand the power of contact, do you know that when a man and a woman they might not need to say any word mouth to mouth contact electricity begins to flow ne? now when you start hating a man those women a woman a woman can love a man with all her life. But the day she changes her mind, no devil in her, no angel, nobody can. She can do anything for you. The day she changes her mind, bros, no chance. The first thing a woman will tell you is, don't touch me. Amen? Amen? The first thing she will say is what? Why would she say that? I don't want contact with you because your contact irritates me. The contact will send the message and I will, you will not like what will come back to you. I'm teaching the power of contact. You understand? Now, when we were young and when we were growing up, you find that you like, there's a boy you like. I'm teaching you something so that when we start ministry, you know what I mean? You will see a, you like a boy, you like a girl. And somehow, 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 your body makes contact. Somehow, you, there's an electricity. Some just, grrr, grrr. Come on now, you've not been in love before. God help you. For those of you that have really been in love, there's an electricity that flows. Is that true? Don't say yes if you've not been in love. I'm talking about those that have really... Am I, am I telling the truth? Yeah. Now, what happens in that time of electricity is what we... That's the current. There's an anointing. That's what we call the anointing. There's an anointing of power or transmission that transmits. But the truth about it is because you are in love, that transmission is done of the flesh. So when, so, when the man of God or someone that is an anointed lays hands on you, the same electricity that you feel in the physical is the same electricity that goes in the spirit realm and begins to take care of a spiritual problem that has bothered you for years. So the woman said, if I touch the hem of his garment, what is bothering me is spiritual. That power that comes from him will transmit into the sickness, disease, or issue that I have and will take care of it. The power of contact. Contact by laying on of hands. 
The next way you contact is by a mantle or a piece of cloth or a piece of anything that has come out from the body of the one that carries the power. Did you hear that? A mantle, a piece of cloth that comes up from the body of the one that carries the power. That's how you can make contact. Number three way is by, you make contact by the spoken words. That's why the Bible says that uh, our mouth is what? Carries life and death. When an anointed man or someone with power, let's look at this for example. If you're here with uh, the Minister of Home Affairs, some of us are foreigners. Let's look at these two sisters here, don't have papers. Okay? They don't have documentation to be in South Africa. And all of a sudden, the Minister of Home Affairs comes to the Home Affairs and Sister Treasure is in charge of issuing visas. Okay? And the Minister of Home Affairs comes to Sister Treasure. Treasure, there are two ladies that are here. I want them to have permit today. Whatever you do, give them permit. Give them three years permit today. He walks away. No matter what treasure does, I don't care her position in that office. These two foreigners, as long as they have a passport with them here, they will get a resident permit today. today. Is that true? Absolutely true. Now, I'm talking about the Minister of Home Affairs. Standing here and declares and says, give this to permit. What is giving them the permit? The contact of his words. His words has been spoken. And that word will not come back to him void until it accomplishes what it has been sent. So contact can be made by a man that has power by declaring. So if I come to you as God has given me grace and say be healed. What I have done is to release contact in the spirit. And that sickness because it has, I have power over it. I'll tell you two incidences. One, a, a man came to Jesus and said my boy is sick. You don't need to come and pray for him. Just say the word. Just say the word. Jesus said, go. Your son is healed. He had made contact by the spoken word. So that's why when you come to this kind of church, you hear the man of God say, you are healed in Jesus' name. Your path is to make contact with the word that has been spoken because I might not be able to lay hands on anyone, on everyone. I might not be able to give my handkerchief or towel to everyone. But I have an opportunity to speak a word. Now, if you receive the word, you have made contact with the spoken word. Hear me, Elijah tells Naaman, or Elisha, tells Naaman, go, go to the water, dip yourself seven times, and come back to me healed. He had declared a spoken word. The spoken word was supposed to have been received by Naaman. Naaman then turned around and said, who is this man? I'm a general in the army. Why can he not come out and wave his hands over me? And do this. He did not understand the power 
of contact. Then his servants came to me and said, Hey, Baba, if he had said a difficult thing, I would have been talking, oh. But he said, Just go and dip. Go and dip yourself. Because the power of God that is in the man of God has already taken care of the issue. All Naaman needed to do was to make contact. May you make contact today. I say, may you make contact today. I say, may you make contact today. The blessings of the Lord is available to every one of us. The Bible says Jesus comes to his hometown and he was about to pray for people. He said none of them were healed because they did not believe in him. They refused to make contact with the spirit he carries. You are in the church for five years. No miracle has happened. A young woman leaves her church for one week and has had, just like the woman with the issue of blood, has heard of what God is doing in Christ Ambassador's church, comes to the church, sits down, her heart is open, his heart is open, he's believing a miracle, and once the pastor begins to declare, because she or he has been ready to make contact, they get a miracle immediately. But some of us stay in the church for five years, they get used to the pastor, get used to the singing, get used to the fellowship, they get used to everything that if even when the pastor declares, they say, not again. <laughs> they fail to make contact. This contact that I'm talking to you about is not physical contact. It is the spirit of the person connecting to the spirit of the prophet. Hello, somebody. Now, that if you have problem with your shoulder, with your hand. And I pray for you. I come and say, be healed in Jesus' name. Now, when I say that, your eyes must move away from the symptom. Hello? Amen. Your eyes must move away from the symptom into the spirit. This man has declared, the prophet of God has declared, I receive what he has declared, even though my eyes is still seeing that my leg or my hand is painful, but a spirit has been transferred into my spirit to receive what the spirit of the prophet has released to me. I'm teaching you how to receive this morning. How do you make contact? There are most times you find out that the man that is anointed has an anointing. And the anointing is resident in the man of God. The one with the issue can trigger the anointing with an offering. That is why when you see a man in a position, the problem with us is that when you see a rich man or someone that is blessed, someone that is doing well, People that don't have struggle to give to them. You know why? They say, this man has. He has money. He's blessed. What will my money do for him? No. Your money will not do anything for him physically. But your money or your gift or your giving can pull out. I follow what I'm saying. Now the Bible says a man's gift makes room for him and his gift so there are so there are people that carry the things you are looking for amen all they need to say one word a woman came with oil to anoint the feet of jesus people were crying hey it's expensive, it's expensive. jesus said leave her alone then he turned around and said, for what this woman has done, anywhere this gospel is being preached, her name will be mentioned. What, 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 more, what more do you want? That even in grave, the woman is a star. By her offering, don't hold back. Some of you are working in some salon. You are working in some places. You hear it's your madam's birthday. You send a text. 
text what? Everybody sending text, text message. Have you seen anybody praying for you for sending text message? No. You hear it's your boss's birthday. And you know that they pay you 2500 Close your eyes and take out 500 Go and buy her a gift. When they are sacking people in the office, they will never sack you. And I'm, I'm sharing something. You are making contact. The power of con when they consider those to sack. Say, not this one. This one? No, 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 no. no, no. She loves me. She thinks of me. While everybody's complaining, you are making contact. Let them call it eye service. Uh, let it be eye service. Make contact. Amen, somebody. Amen. I've just shown you four ways. Have we? Four. Four ways you can receive a miracle. Now let's stand to our feet.